boys and girls, Mrs. Tiny Tungo here. Welcome back from um, spring break. I hope you're ready to really practice and learn and try to do the best that you can in the fourth quarter. We are now getting ready to be fifth graders. That means a lot. It means you have to really be studying and practicing. Um, so today for our reading, we are going to go to IXL to get ourselves ready for the AZ Merit testing. Um, we're going to be talking about topic sentences. Topic sentences are in paragraphs. They help us to figure out um, what is the main idea, what is the whole paragraph about. So let's look at my paper. It's very short, and then we'll go to IXL, okay? Okay, so... Choose the best topic sentence. This is language arts R1. Topic sentences are usually at the beginning. Okay, they're at the beginning of a paragraph. They're usually the first sentence for you guys right now. The paragraph or the topic sentence tells us what the paragraph is about. And then the rest of the sentences are details that tell us more about. The topic sentence okay so we're gonna look at language arts and practice um, so let me turn my camera and bring this a little closer okay um, so we want to figure out what is the topic sentence there okay so this tells us to read the paragraph, and if it helps you, don't forget to use this to read for you, okay? Blank. Like a regular pipe organ, the wave organ has many pipes of different lengths. However, the, waves organ, the wave organ's pipes go down into the water of the San Francisco Bay. As waves crash into the organ, the pipes made loud echoing sounds. When water enters a pipe, it makes a higher sound. When water leaves the pipe, it makes a lower sound. So just looking at what we've talked about, let's go through these two and try to figure it out. San Francisco's wave organ turns the sounds of the ocean into music. There are many kinds of musical organs. Now here I did talk about, I read pipe organ, but the rest of these sentences talk about the wave organ in the San Francisco Bay. So, um, and it talks about how when the waves crash into the organ, it makes loud echoing sounds. When there's water in there, it's a higher sound. When the water leaves, it's lower sound. So we're basically just talking about that. That would be our topic sentence, what the whole paragraph is about, okay? So let's look at another one. Okay. Some scientists think that yawning makes people feel more awake by bringing more air into the brain. That would explain why people yawn when they're sleepy or bored. Other scientists say there isn't enough proof for that idea and they suggest a reason for why people yawn when they see or hear someone else yawn. Whoops, I'm sorry. Uh, they say yawning at the same time makes people feel closer to each other. There is some proof for this idea, but it wouldn't explain why people yawn when they're alone. So what would be our topic sentence? Scientists aren't sure why people yawn. People often yawn when a friend does. It doesn't just talk about people yawning when a friend does, but it talks about different reasons. Um, People yawn when they're sleepy or bored. Um, it brings more air to the brain. Um, they yawn when they see someone else yawning. So it talks about, or it, people just aren't sure why we yawn. Okay, I'll do one more with you. Okay, she got her start making jewelry out of shells, buttons, beads, and small toys. One day, Perkins decided to use leftover supplies to create a copy of a famous painting. After this, Perkins continued to use found objects to make copies of other famous works. 
From far away, Perkins art looks like the famous originals, but up close, you can see the small objects. So, let's read through our two sentences. Jane Perkins always loved to draw, sew, and make art. Jane Perkins is known for making art out of everyday objects. I did not talk about her drawing. I did not talk about her sewing, but we did talk about her making art. So this one would not be it. She's known, she used everyday objects. See, if you look up here, um, she used shells, buttons, heads, and or beads and small toys, found objects. So those are everyday things, okay? So I want you to keep reading these paragraphs and look at the, your two choices. Go back and see which one is a better choice. Go back to the paragraph and see which one backs it up more. Okay? Have a great day. Go to IXL Language Arts R1.